A few years ago I made a two-story con compost bin and the top story was plastic but rodents were able to chew into it so I want to make one this year uh, from uh, plaster and uh, metal um, diamond mesh and I think that will be uh, quite a bit uh, sturdy. I made the whale and the monster head for practice and uh, Small projects like that uh, give you confidence to continue on with the larger ones. So this is 12 shovels of coarse sand to 4 shovels of Portland cement. And I mixed up a wheelbarrow to this consistency. So that's, that's the consistency of it. And then I spread it on with um, the trowel and with my gloved hand and uh, I got this shape. So this is going to be um, for compost, but it could be a dog house or it could be anything, I guess, really. You could make a, a big planter in the shape of a tree stump or dog house or whatever. And anyway, uh, I spread it on and this is how it came out. So I have, see the, the screws that I just screwed through there so the first layer i put on on the bottom inside and out a little wider and that was just to stabilize this so i have uh, i screwed in uh one two three four five screws around the outside and then a couple of screws from through the wood just to hold the shape I use Portland cement in my mix this time because uh, compost is acidic and uh, corrosive to uh, the lime component of the special, the type S cement. And then I did a layer on the bottom and a layer up here and that was again just to hold the shape and then gradually built up to where I am now. And I'm going to use the other camera and show you uh, how I did it. So uh, this is the shape. Now you can see a few holes in it if you I zoom maybe. I don't know if you can see. But the light is coming through a few places halfway down. So I'll just show you how easy. I was really surprised. I've been planning to do this for ages and ages, but I'm just surprised at how easy it is to do. So, the glove on, and a little material onto the trowel, and then it through, it's smoothed. Anyway, the last little thing to do, which isn't done now, it's done later or even in the morning, is called a scratch. So you just damp it down, and that means you can put another coat on it. Well, it's a little early to do it right now. That means the next coat can bond in nicely. This is how it looks from the front. And, you know, it could be shaped, it could look like a tree trunk or whatever at the end when it's done. So this is only coat number one. I'm going to do um, uh, you know, I'm going to work it a little bit more when it gets a little bit more set up. And then I'll do another coat tomorrow or the next day and finish it off. I'm not sure what type of top I'm putting on it yet. So that's why I haven't gone completely up to the top here. I might um, have to marry this onto some sort of a lid. And um, 
that can be done by that angle. So this is the mesh that has gone into it. So it is an 8 foot by 27 inch piece. So it's 27 down there and 8 foot along here. And it's just wound around and see it's gone so much harder now. There's hardly a movement to it. And um, I'm going to leave it another couple of days because I'm I don't have time off work to do it but um, yeah so this is the mesh that I've used and you could get away with um, half inch wire either chicken wire and uh, this is just something I had from um, left over from a job and uh, might as well use it up so there it is uh, 8 feet by 27 inches will make the bottom of a gigantic compost bin. Thank you.